told myself I would bring my anxiety here when that showed up. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to firstly acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we are gathered upon today. I pay my respects to the elders, past, present, and present. This poem is called According Women with Resilience. This poem is for the women with dark skin, cool skin, warm skin, fair skin. To the women with white skin, black skin, brown skin, tan skin, and to all those that lie in between, I need you to know that we are proud of you. This poem is for the women who wear headscarves, hijabs, tikkutikko, the abaya, the niqab, the women who wear veils, headbands, caps, snapbacks, hair ties, bandanas, bows, ribbons, wigs, extensions, or even nothing at all. I need you to know that we are proud of you. This poem is for the women who work full-time, part-time, overtime, to the women who work day shifts, night shifts, casual shifts, 24-hour shifts, who, work, who do volunteer work or work experience, I need you to know that we are proud of you. This poem is for the women with university degrees, scholarships, bachelor degrees, diplomas, for the women who didn't complete high school, for the women who didn't go to university, for the women who chased their dreams or whose dreams led to something else, I need you to know that we are proud of you. I know very well that television, media, and Twitter have shown women how difficult it is for them to succeed. Politics and an ex-prime minister have shown me that it's all right to shame a silence a woman. And you know what I'm talking about. That moment where she voices her disagreement or rewarded with an achievement, it is immediately followed with mistreatment from colleagues and oppositions. Hollywood and movies have shown me that women can only be portrayed in a certain way. Light skin, impossible waste, and all forms of blemish on her face are gone. Many need to scream for diversity in all types in every industry where it evidently lacks, yet many of those voices are taken and put to the back. Women being asked to act and look a certain way, told to achieve to reach or, or to reach or achieve a certain limit, being told from mother to mother, sister to sister, daughter to daughter, that this is what you need to act like, this is what you need to look like, is part of the problem. We ask our young girls to choose between a red and a blue pill. We ask them, do you want to be confined to society's idea of you in order to be accepted, but in return be dispirited? Or work hard to get what you want with the certainty of being told by many that your dreams and goals should be deemed prohibited? This, woman isn't, this poem isn't just for women to encourage one another, but for men and people to encourage the women around them, to tell them that they are worth it and that you are proud of them. You need to understand that your gender and the label society has placed upon you should not be an obstacle for you to achieve the grade. You need to understand that it's never excessive or too late to tell someone that they deserve everything good that comes to them. Be the role model that you wanted. Be the role model you needed. Be the role model you want your siblings and your children to have. But, or be the role model you still need. Because for young girls like me, words of love and hate stick with us forever. This poem is for mothers with children, for brothers with sisters, for sisters with siblings, for fathers with daughters, teachers with youths, employees with employees. Tell the women in your life that you are proud of them and that you are very appreciative of them. This poem is, well, most importantly, this poem is dedicated to Professor Jane and Hollander. I hope you know that girls like me look up to women like you.